A deputy sworn to protect and serve his community suffers a huge loss of his own in a series of tragedies for his family. Washtenaw County Deputy Sean Urban and his family are looking for answers after fire destroyed their home and all of their belongings Sunday morning. The house on Edgewood Street in Monroe may be gone, but tonight only on 7 Action News, Alan Campbell talks with a family friend who's hoping the public will come together to get the Urban family back on their feet. Just take a look at what's left of this home after that fire early Sunday morning. You can see the structure is still intact. However, the roof and everything inside destroyed. The Urban family used to call this place home. Now everything inside is just rubble and memories. They're doing the best they can. They're trying to stay strong, um, but it's just a very difficult time. It's a site no homeowner ever wants to see. It's just something you can't prepare for. All of their possessions were in there. It was around 2 o'clock Sunday morning when Natalie Urban smelled smoke. She went downstairs and saw flames. She went out, she saw all the smoke and all the fire, saw the one side of her house completely engulfed. Natalie's husband Sean was away in Tennessee on a law enforcement motorcycle trip. After getting news of what happened, he boarded the first flight home. Everyone that was down there from uh, 12 different states got together. Um, and did everything we could to help him out to get him home. Sean is an 11 year deputy with the Washington County Sheriff's Office and canine handler. Everyone was able to make it out of the home safely, except one of the couple's dogs. They have each other. They're just going to stay, you know, with each other and take it day by day. The couple has endured a lot over the last year, including the death of Natalie's mother and the arrival of their first baby, Harper, born 12 weeks early. The couple had to stay in the NICU for three months until Harper was well enough to go home. It was actually a year ago to the day that they brought Harper home and a year to the date of the fire. This time the family needs help. No, they're not asking for it. It's their friends and colleagues who are putting out a plea for the family. They've always helped everybody else out and put everyone else before themselves and they've been through so much in the past two years. So this is our chance to try to give back to them. And if you'd like to help out, the family has set up a GoFundMe account. We do have a link posted on our website WXYZ.com. So far, people have donated thousands to help this family out. Reporting in Monroe, I'm Alan Campbell, 7 Action News.